Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been so long but I'm back and I'm back with a video I know loads of people are probably really hoping for and that is how to get The Sims 4 all packs, all DLCs, all kits, everything completely free working 2023. This video was already on my channel and I got taken down so I'm here to put it back up and hopefully help a lot of you guys get The Sims completely free. So the first thing you're going to do is I can't show it here, but it'll be in the link in the description. I'll be it'll take you to my Twitter page. This is my Twitter. The first thing you're going to see is my pinned tweet, and that's going to say Sims 4 link, and it's going to take. It's going to look like this. You're going to want to click on that link. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter. But you're going to get. Are you sure you want to leave YouTube? You're going to click Go to Sites. And then you're going to see this page here, and you're going to click Subscribe. It's going to take you to my YouTube channel, as you can see here. And you're going to click Subscribe. And then when it says subscription added, you're going to go back here and it's going to count down. And then this is going to count all the way down to zero, obviously. Okay, and then it's going to get down to zero. And you're going to click the link and it's going to take you to this page here. And this is the page you're going to need. You're going to need this exact page to pop up. And it's going to say right here, download updater. You can see it's the full base game up and click includes the brand new DLC, the brand new update, everything. So you don't have to worry about that. You're going to click download updater. It's going to take you here. And I normally just use this top one. So it's going to take you onto this page and you just want to click download. And it's going to take it up here. And as you can see it's here. It's going to, you want to go and click this. You're going to need some sort of op file opener. Okay, so you're going to want to find where you want to put it. So I'm going to name this a new folder. And I'm going to name it Sims 4. So you're going to name it Sims 4. And then all I'm going to do is just click this and hold shift. And then drag these into the Sims 4 folder that I just created. And wherever I want to store it. So I'm going to do that and it's going to extract it and I'm going to open this and you can see they're here and then you're going to click this Sims 4 updater and it's going to be the application. Double click that. Okay, so this is what you're going to get when you open it. Mine is already saved where my game is, but obviously I'm going to try and show you from fresh. So we're going to go to where you want to install it and I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it Sims Game. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select that folder. As you can see, I'm in the folder, select folder, it's going to say this, you're going to click update, it's going to say it was not found, so do you want to install one instead of updating your existing one? Obviously, you're going to say yes, and then, as you can see, you can click all of these, literally, this is every single pack, every kit, every game pack, every ex everything, expansions, everything. You want to make sure that you're clicking all the ones you want, because the more you pack, the longer it's going to take to download, and you can come back and pick more later on if you want. So just like remember that. So you don't need to download them all at once. If you just want to like download like the main game to start with, that's fine. And then just pick like one. Like you can see the for rent pack is even here and that's brand new. So you want to just make sure that you're happy with what you're picking. You can come back, you can pick more. Don't feel the need to download them all at once just for the sake of it. So you want to click them all. So I'm just going to click a few and then you just click OK. And it's going to start downloading them. Okay, so as you can see, that took a little while, but it is done. It will say, all done, have fun playing the game. So then you just want to go into the folder that you downloaded into and open the game. Okay, so you want to find the folder that you named. So here's my Sims one, and then you want to double click this folder. And then you want to go ahead and you want to go into the Sims 4, and it will say all DLC at the end. Double click that. And it's going to give you like a bunch of things. This is all the DLCs here, as you can see. So the, what you want to find is the one that says game. And that's the one you're going to look for specifically. It's normally about here, like right at the start of the G's. So find game and then go ahead and click bin. You'll find it right here, The Sims 4 and its application. You can double click that and it'll run and it'll start up. Okay, so once you open the game from the file that you downloaded it into, it'll run as normal. Everything will work. It'll all be there. And then when you're in here, if you click on the... If you start off at this page, if you click packs and then you click my packs, you'll see you have literally every expansion pack, everything, game packs, stuff packs, everything is there and it is all there for you to play and use and just enjoy, like you have the kits as well, but if you go to the kits page you see you do have like all the kits, like you have everything, you have whatever you selected obviously, if you didn't pick them all you won't have them all, but you can go back onto the updater and I can show you how to do that quickly. Okay, so once you've downloaded the game and you've played it and everything, you can add mods to it and stuff, but if you do want to go back and get any extra packs, all you do is open the updater and it's going to say the location already and then you're just going to click update and obviously it won't work for me right now because I have everything but if you have any packs that you didn't select the first time those are going to pop up you're going to be able to pick what ones you want you're going to be able to update the game this way as well so if there's a, if there's a new patch that comes out 
new game patch or a new DLC or a new pack. Anything that comes out is going to go here, but everything's going to be done from here. You're just going to click update. It's going to pop up what you need to, like what you don't have installed. And if there's just an update, it's just going to run through all the update stuff. Like it's just going to go through like all the stuff. So it'll give you everything now. You can add mods in it and everything. It runs exactly as if you just have the Sims purchased. So don't worry about not being able to do mods or anything. You won't be able to use the gallery, but there is a way around that, that if you do want me to make a video on, I definitely can. It's a bit much for this video, but I could definitely make another video if that's what you guys want. I'm more than happy to, just let me know. And yeah, you can leave a comment, let me know any other videos you want to see, anything else that maybe was on my page before, isn't there now. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy The Sims if you use this technique to get it. And do please make sure to subscribe and like. And like I said, let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.